All right, this is instructional remedy information for the Chevrolet C7 Corvette years 2014 through 2019. Should cover the base model, the Z51, Z06, ZR1, any of those derivatives. If your steering wheel and your memory seat options are doing this, And just not going through the full motion of where you set your memory seat. Here's the fix. Okay, turn the vehicle on. Go into your settings. Okay, right here. Go into vehicle. Go into comfort and convenience. Go into auto memory recall and select off. So turn it off. Once you've selected off, go back out. I'm not gonna select it because all my settings are set. I don't wanna mess with it. And it seems like this is a delicate system. You, got to, you have to set it up, make sure it's right, and then don't mess with it. So <laughs> I don't know. It's a crazy system. It shouldn't be this finicky as I call it. But anyway, getting back to what we were talking about, you go to the auto memory recall, turn it off, go back, go into easy exit options, turn it off. So let's just hypothetically say both items are turned off. That's fine. Then we go over here to our memory options. You got set, one, two, and exit. Set everything where you want it when you're in the first setting. Okay, let's just say you've got your steering wheel set up here and you got it pushed all the way in blah 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 your seats all set where you want forward back lumbar support all that crap okay once that's set and you want it for driver one or setting one push set and one together at the same time and you're gonna hear beep 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 okay once you've done that great move on to the next setting i have setting two it's kind of my highway setting where I'm more reclined. Uh, my steering wheel's down further, so my arms are down further, and it's great, okay? Same thing, once you get that set where you want for highway or whatever, maybe your spouse, your partner, as we have to say these days, because we don't want to be discriminative. We want to be sensitive to those, those people that, we'll just leave it alone. Anyway, whoever's driving one and two, set those up. Your exit, set that up the way you want. I set my exit mode up with my seat all the way back and my seat reclined as far back as I can. My steering wheel all the way up and retracted all the way in. So I can get my big fat ass out of this thing because I'm 52 years old going through a midlife crisis and I love it. I love it. Let's go. So once you've done all that, and everything's set over here, okay, with your memory seat settings. Go back in to easy exit options and auto memory recall. You'll go back in there and you'll see that it's turned off. Mine's on, turn it back on. Okay, and that's basically saying, I want you to save and set these memory um, settings. Once you've turned it back on, great. Go to your next one, your last one, easy exit options. Turn that on, okay? Once you've done that, everything should work. So for instance, I'm gonna show you. Mine, I'm gonna put it in driver one. Right. Everything's going where I want. Once I turn it off, which I will, it's gonna stay there, but the minute I open the door, everything goes where I want it to go on the exit set setting, okay? So I've gone to the store, I've picked up my milk and bread, I get back in the vehicle. Now, without having to touch these buttons, it should just automatically go to setting one. I shut the door, I start it. Everything moves right where I want. I am back in business. I'm not gonna lie, this was probably one of the most frustrating things about this car that I had to deal with, which is a minor thing. Everything else has been 
sweet. So that's what I found out. Settings, vehicle, comfort and convenience, auto memory recall, turn it off, easy exit option, turn it off, set your settings for your memory seat. When you have them all set, go back and turn them back on, boom, and boom, and that's it. And you're back in business. All right. One other recommendation that I will add to this. I'm telling you. This radar detector is money. Absolute money. It is a Uniden. I always thought Uniden was junk. But this thing has amazing freaking range. I mean amazing. Here, I'll tell you what it is. It's just unbelievable. Let's turn this light on. It is a Uniden Model R3. That's all I know. But all I'm going to say, the range on this is tremendous. And it's a freaking Uniden. I don't get it. I mean, we used to buy valentine used to buy escort no need to buy that crap anymore and overpay for it right there love it i kid you not i kid you not if there's a cop shooting radar beams five miles out you're gonna get a ping you're gonna get that ka band i don't know about laser but here up in idaho we get a lot of ka band from county city state and once you hear it there's a cop somewhere highly recommend no disappointments all right there you go there is your memory seat fix and there's my recommendation boom